Welcome to another video. So we're out of winter now, officially in spring. Uh, all of my ficuses are really needing a pruning. Uh, my big one that's upstairs, I'm gonna let that go for a little while longer. I feel like um, that has a lot of vigor in it right now and I just want it to get even larger. But I do want to prune this one. It's been, uh, it's been growing all winter really just fine. Um, it's just getting really long and pretty wacky. It could use a little bit of bringing back in and getting it back in proportion. Other ones haven't done all that great. Uh, this one in particular um, lost a lot of its leaves, which generally when ficuses lose their leaves, a lot of the times that's because of uh, lack of light. And you might think, well, it's, it's a humidity thing, you know, it's going to lose its leaves because of that. But a lot of the times it's really lack of light. So uh, sometimes it's because of uh, the position that you've changed, that you put them in a different spot and all of a sudden it's dropping all of its leaves. They don't usually like to be moved all that much. Uh, like a ficus benjamina is actually a perfect example of that. That one is notorious for dropping its leaves when you put it in a different spot. But um, yeah, this is a, these are ficus microcarpa, uh, ginseng ficus. Uh, they, they were all cuttings from my uh, bonsai that um, needs pruning as well, actually. <laughs> but that's, I'll do that some other time. But anyway, yeah, like I said, they, they lose their leaves a lot of times because of lack of light. And uh, that's something that I would highly look at if your ficus is doing that. Um, so this one has done a lot of that. And uh, this one as well, just a little guy. I actually really like the trunk on this. Um, I was honestly really debating on just getting rid of these two. Uh, my wife and I are trying to buy a house and I just don't want a bunch of stuff, extra stuff that I have to move. So I was thinking of just completely getting rid of it, but I'll try to save him. I'll just try to prune him and just kind of see if I can, you know, bring some life back into it. I know with this one, there's a lot of dead on it, but I do actually see some new buds starting to form. And I do like the little trunk on it. So yeah, I, I'll just try to save it. <laughs> Same thing with this one. Uh, this one obviously still has some life left in it. There's a lot of, uh, branches in here that are dead, which is because of lack of light. And I know that I didn't put a grow light on it or anything. Um, I just, they were right in front of the south facing window. Um, so that's pretty much kind of what they have to deal with it. Like kind of what they have to, all the light they're going to get. It's just that it gets pretty dark here during the winter. So yeah, that's still wanted more, but yeah. So let's uh, start with cleaning up these two and then uh, the last will prune up this ficus here. So let me bring you in a little closer so you can see it all a little bit better. All right guys, so we'll start with this one. Um, I'm just mostly gonna remove the dead stuff because like some of this stuff is alive and it's kind of hard to tell what is alive. Like I see a little bit of growth in this one. I'm just gonna prune it back to the growth. So take a little tip off, Oop, just like that. Uh, this looks dead, take that off. This is dead, take that off. Pretty straightforward. Um, I'll probably have to give it more light. I'm actually thinking about putting really all of my house plants, aside from the ones that really don't like cool because it still gets pretty cool here at night. Um, just putting them all outside and just letting them get as big as possible. Um, I know that these two are the only two ficuses that really didn't do all that great. Uh, this is also dead, so I'm going to just take that off. Um, yeah, my fic these two ficuses are the only ones that didn't really do all that great. All my other ficuses and really most of my other plants did, did just fine. Uh, I have a fern that actually likes a little bit more light than most ferns and that didn't do all that great, but it's still alive and I'm putting it in a much more sunny spot so that I think will do a lot better. There's a little bit of growth up here. Just a bud uh, breaking here, so I'm gonna uh, put it back to that. Um, not seeing too much new growth here. Yeah. Let's take it off. If you don't see growth and you don't want to take it off, you can also take it back to a point where you feel where you would like growth to come out of and just kind of wait and see what happens. Or you can take um, 
the top layer of bark off. You gently scrape it off and um, you can see whether it's alive or not. Okay, so this one is alive and I want it to just be, it's crossing with the branch, it's literally rubbing up against it. I don't want that. So I'm gonna prune it pretty far back, all the way to here, because I can see some buds that are popping up. So now, let's start on this one here. This entire side branch is dead. Yeah, not even any sap coming out of it. It's pretty much a telltale sign there. This branch, take that out. Ooh. So this is one of the situations where I'm hoping there's some live growth because this whole, looks like this whole side trunk is dead. This whole trunk, <laughs> which would be pretty unfortunate. I um, There's still growth in this one here. So I'm gonna leave that. That stub is dead though, so I'm just going to take that out. Okay, and then there's some growth down here. Just a little bitty branch that started to grow again. So we'll take it back to that. This pruning scar off. Actually, this whole thing looks dead, but there's growth down below here. So that was pretty quick, right? Nothing too crazy with the uh, dead branches. <laughs> this is really um, the more fun part. So, there is one dead branch in here. I might as well start mm. with moving that, which is right here. Yeah, I can't see it too well. It's just an itty bitty branch. I'm just gonna take that out. Like so, and um, so depending on where the growth is on the tree, I uh, wanted to go a different direction. So anything that's up, like up top here, I want that to grow more upright. And anything that's lower down, I want that to be more horizontal. And then slowly, as you get closer and closer towards the apex, I want it to um, be more and more upright. So. You can really start anywhere in a tree, but probably what I'm gonna start. I see this branch here. It has a little bud coming out already. It's a little itty bitty branch that's already started. That's kind of at a good spot. It's it's still pretty long, but I mean I'm not trying to bonsai necessarily. It's just it's a house plant that I just kind of you know try to give a little bit of character to. It's more branches at the tip here, but that's just if I wanted to keep it this long, I could, but it's just too long. So I'm gonna start by just going right here. So, and if I wanna go shorter, I can always do that later. This one is kind of starting to weep a little bit, but it's not too bad. Like for instance, this branch is really weeping and it's up towards the top of the tree, which I don't like at all. So but there is, however, right here is a bud its faces up. Since it is as close to the top as, as it is, I can take it back to this bud here and then it'll kind of swoop back up. So I'll do that. I cut it pretty close to the bud. I don't I don't really get any have any worries with die back that the bud dies if I cut it too far back. I haven't really had any problems with that with uh, ficuses. Is it ficuses? Yeah, I believe so. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Any other branches lower down that I want to prune? Not really. Oh, there's another dead branch in here, which is also crossing with a little bit of branch that's down here as well. So I'm going to pick that up. Um, so I think that's going to do it for down below. I, I don't want to prune it too heavily because otherwise you're just taking all the vigor out. So the way that it sits, it's actually fine. I do have, however, yeah, I do have a branch that's kind of shooting up in towards the canopy here, this one, which I'm not a big fan of because um, it's kind of more of a horizontal branch, so I would like it to keep it that way. There's a bud down here that's growing more horizontal, just like that, so that'll fix that. 
Just a little easy bitty leaf. It's a small leaf, but it'll be fine. Um, Alright, so let me take you to the top now and I'll show you what I'm going to do there. So this is really where the bulk of the pruning on this tree is going to happen because I just want it to be a little bit more in proportion with the rest of it. You know, right now there's so much growth at the top and it's so vigorous at the top that, you know, it's taking, um, it's just very unbalanced and I want it to just be more balanced. So but I do want most of this growth to be vertical because it is the apex of the tree, the top of the tree. So I'm going to start by doing that. I don't want them all to be the leader, but I guess I do have a bit of a double leader here. These two are the leaders. Um, I don't really mind it. Like I'm gonna roll with it. I'm just gonna first prune it to that and then see how it looks. So I've got a bud right in here. right here it's growing up right upwards I'm just gonna prune it to that yeah this branch is very vigorous I already have two shite shoots coming off of it see this one and then this one it's kind of uh it's kind of neat so it's already subdividing um i'm gonna prune it pretty far back however take it back to a little bud that's right up top here it's just an itty bitty one but there's so much vigor in this tree you see it just there there's so much vigor in this tree that I'm not worried about it not making it. Um, and then the other ones I want it to be... I'll probably just take the tip off of them. Look right here. Take the tip off of that. And... This one's more of a horizontal uh, leaf that I'm going to prune this one too. But... That's all I got, and that's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect either, because I do want it to look natural. On this one here, there is a branch that's growing in towards the center. It's this one, I don't like that, but I think I'm going to prune it back enough to where that's not even going to matter. So there's a... There's a branch right in here. It's growing more upright. It's actually this one. Kind of tell. Ooh, look at that. You see that? Okay. It's this one. That's what I'm going to put it back to. So it's growing up. Which is good. Take the whole top off. You see all the subdividing that's happening on it. So it's obviously very vigorous. So I'm not worried about uh, this tree recovering. This one already has a vertical shoot right here. This one, I'm just gonna leave that. But there is another branch that's right off of it, which I'll probably make a side branch. But it actually already has, it already has a um, couple shoots coming off of it that are starting to develop. I'll take it down to one of these horizontal ones. And I think that'll do it. If you want your ficus to continue to grow well, then you don't want to prune it too much. Because if you do, then you're going to take all the vigor out of the tree and then you're not going to get any growth. It's just going to spend all growing season trying to recover. So you don't want that either. But this is a good medium. I'm just going to let it do its thing. Although I'm, I don't really want to prune this branch, but I just don't like how weeping it is. <laughs> so... I will prune it back a little bit. Just do a horizontal 
branch here to this leaf right here. It's a this one. It's a horizontal leaf. So we'll take it back to that. I haven't gotten a new tripod yet, otherwise the camera angles would probably be better, but I'm working on it. <laughs> so yeah, I think they'll do it. Um, I still kind of feel like this branch is too long. It looks disproportionate, which I don't like. So I'm going to put it back a little bit. It doesn't have a branch already there, but it's at least horizontal. So that'll be good enough. So now it just needs a whole lot of sun. It needs as much sun as, much sun as possible and that'll allow it to recover nice and quickly. So thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. And tot de volgende keer.